Water is around us everywhere. Sometimes it's even in surprising places. Have you ever wondered where the water comes from that collects on the outside of a glass, soda, or can? Some kids think that maybe it leaks through the cup. That is an idea we can test. Here's a cup filled with ice and water. Unlike the paper soda cups, it's glass, 100% waterproof. No water can leak through. Yet in a few minutes, there's water on it, dripping down, in fact. Some kids have told me they think the water flies out of the cup and sticks to the outside. Again, we can test that idea. If we try the experiment with milk, shouldn't we find milk all over the outside? But after a few minutes, we see there's just a thin layer of water on the glass, no milk in sight. There must be some serious science going on here, and we've gathered a lot of information. But to learn more, we need to think about another property all these cups have in common. How about they're all cold? So what if we try an experiment with a cold glass that is empty? After only seconds, the cold glass is covered not just in water, but in frozen water, snow. So when something is cold, it seems to collect water. Where does that water come from? Well, the only thing around it, surrounding it in fact. The liquid or solid water that collects on a cold surface has to come from the water vapor gas in the air. Mm -hmm.